the electrons are negatively charged particles and the holes are positively charged particles as we have already discussed that like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other hence the electrons which is a negatively charged particle gets attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery and the holes which are positively charged particle are attracted towards the negative terminal let's see what is a depletion region the depletion region refers to a region where flow of charge carriers are decreased over a given time and finally results in empty mobile charge carriers or full of immobile charge carriers so now let's delve into diodes what is a diode a diode is defined as a two terminal electronic component that only conducts current in one direction an ideal diode will have zero resistance in one direction and the infinite resistance in the opposite direction although in the real world diodes cannot achieve zero or infinite resistance instead to allow current flow a diode will have negligible resistance in one direction and a very high resistance in the reverse direction to prevent the current flow so for an electrical circuit a diode is effectively like a valve semiconductor diodes are most common type of diodes these diodes begin conducting electricity only if a certain threshold voltage is present in the forward di direction that is the low resistance direction then the diode is said to be forward biased when connected within a circuit in the reverse direction that is the high resistance direction the diode is said to be reverse biased diode only blocks current in the reverse direction that is when it is reverse biased while the reverse biased voltage is within a specified range above which the reverse barrier breaks the voltage at which the breakdown occurs is called the reverse breakdown voltage when the voltage of the circuit is higher than the reverse breakdown voltage the diode is able to conduct electricity in the reverse direction that is the high resistance direction this is why in practice we say diodes have a high resistance in the reverse direction not an infinite resistance as we look at the symbol of the diode the arrow head points in the direction of the conventional current flow in the forward bias condition that means the anode is connected to the p side and the cathode is connected to the n side we can create a simple pn junction diode by doping the pentavalent or the donor impurity in one portion and the trivalent or the acceptor impurity in another portion of silicon or germanium crystal blocks these dopings make a pn junction at the middle part of the block a pn junction can also be formed by joining a p type and an n type semiconductor together with a special fabrication technique the terminal which is connected to the p type is the anode the terminal connected to the n type is called as the cathode let's look into the working principle of a diode a diode's working principle depends on the interaction of the n type and the p type semiconductors as the n type semiconductor has plenty of free electrons and a very few number of holes the free electrons in the n type semiconductor are referred to as the majority charge carriers and the holes in the n type are referred to as the minority charge carriers as the p type semiconductor has a very high concentration of holes and there is low concentration of free electrons holes in the n type semiconductor are majority charge carriers and free electrons in the p type semiconductor are the minority charge carriers so let's look at an unbiased diode let's look at an unbiased diode now let us see what happens when one n type region and one p type region comes in contact here due to the concentration difference majority of the carriers diffuse from one side to the another side as the concentration of the holes is high in the n type region and it is low in the n type region as the concentration of the holes is high in the p type region and it is low in the n type region the holes start diffusing from the p region to the n type region again the concentration of free electrons is high in the n type region and it is low in the p type region and due to this reason free electrons start diffusing from the n type region to the p type region the free electrons which is diffusing into the p type region from the n type region would recombine with the holes which is available there and create uncovered negative ions in the p type region in the same way the holes diffusing into the n type region from the p type region would recombine with the free electrons available there and it will create an uncovered positive ions in the n type region the layers of uncovered positive ions and uncovered negative ions 
form a region at the middle of the diode where no charge carrier exists since all the charge carriers get recombined here in this region. Due to the lack of the charge carriers, this region is also called as the depletion region. After the formation of the depletion region, there is no more diffusion of charge carriers from one side to the another inside the diode. This is due to the electric field appearing across the depletion region which will prevent further migration of charge carriers from one side to the another. The potential of the layer of the uncovered potential ions in the n-type side would repel the holes in the p-type side and the potential of the layer of the uncovered negative ions in the p-type side would repel the free electrons in the n-type side. That means a potential barrier is created across the junction to prevent further diffusion of the charge carriers. So let us look at the forward bias diode. Now let us see what happens if a positive terminal of a source is connected to the p-type side and negative terminal of the battery or the source is connected to the n-type side of the diode and if we increase the voltage of this source slowly from zero. In the beginning there is no current flowing through the diode. This is because although there is an external electric field applied across the diode but still the majority charge carriers do not get sufficient influence of the external field to cross across the depletion region. As we told that the depletion region acts as a potential barrier against the majority charge carriers. This potential barrier is called the forward potential barrier. The majority charge carriers start crossing the forward potential barrier only when the value of the external applied voltage across the junction is more than the potential of the forward barrier. For silicon diodes, the forward barrier potential is 0.7 and for germanium diodes, it is 0.3 volts. When the externally applied forward voltage across the diode becomes more than the forward barrier potential, the free majority charge carriers start crossing the barrier and contribute the forward diode current. In that situation, the diode would behave as a short-circuited path and the forward current gets limited by only external connected resistors which is connected to the diode. Let us look at the reverse bias diode. Now, let us see what happens if we connect a negative terminal of the voltage source to the P side and the positive terminal of the voltage source to the N type side of the diode. At that particular condition, due to the electrostatic attraction of the negative potential of the source, the holes in the P type region would get shifted more away from the junction leaving more uncovered negative ions at the junction. In the same way, the free electrons in the N type region would be shifted more away from the junction towards the positive terminal of the voltage source leaving more uncovered positive ions in the junction. As a result of this phenomenon, the depletion region becomes wider. So this condition of a diode is called the reverse bias condition. At that condition, there is no majority charge carriers across the junction as they go away from the junction. In this way, a diode blocks the flow of current when it is reverse biased. As we have already discussed that there are always some free electrons in the p-type semiconductor and some holes in the n-type semiconductor. These opposite charge carriers in a semiconductor are called minority charge carriers. In the reverse bias condition, the holes find themselves in the n-type side would easily cross the reverse biased depletion region as the field across the depletion region does not prevent, rather it helps the minority charge carriers to cross the depletion region. As a result, there is a tiny current flowing through the diode from the positive to the negative side. The amplitude of the current is very small as the number of minority charge carriers in the diode is also small. This current is called as the reverse saturation current. 